Hello everyone and welcome back. So we will now be designing a poster. There's not much to say about it, so let's get straight into it of course. So let's just click more at the top just here and then look for poster. Now this is going to be in marketing materials, so just scroll down until you see marketing materials and then the first one for me says poster. So click on that and let this new page load. Now on the right just here, this white space is the canvas and on the left, this is where all of the layouts are and this is what you will be picking to start your design. So let's get straight into it. So of course, first things first, we will need to pick a layout. So let's just scroll through some of them now and see which one looks like it'll be good for us. And you want to do the same, scroll through them and see which one you like the most, okay? So let's just uh, have a look through them now then. Okay, so this one here looks quite cool. We could have a look at this or we could just keep scrolling and just see what else there is. So I think I'm going to design two or three different posters in this video. So I'm gonna click new page and new page for when I want to design the next ones. But to begin with, we'll just use this and start designing, okay? Let's just change this text here to black brick presents and then we're going to do social media. Oh, sorry, they both need capital letters. Needs to stand out a bit more. So black brick presents social media conference. Now it's going to be on October 10th to the 11th, 2019. Yep, sure we can do that. Let's just do 10th to the 13th instead. The place doesn't matter too much. Of course, if this is a conference for you, you will need to put the exact place, the exact times and all of that. But this, we're not actually doing a conference. This is just an example for designing a poster. So we're going to leave that. And next we have Facebook. So that is slash black brick training. So we're gonna put that now, like so, fantastic. And that's a little bit too long, which is annoying, but not to worry. We can improve this. We can move this to the right and this to the left and this to the left as well. There we go, so that fits in now. And then let's just make sure this one here is in the very center. There we go, that's good. So then on Twitter, we are at black brick learn. Fantastic. So let's make that box a little bit bigger and we'll just copy that. And finally on Instagram, we are at black brick training like that. Fantastic. So let's make that box bigger once again. And there we go. So that is all fit in nicely, just about. Let's just move all three of these to the left slightly so that they look a little bit better. Fantastic. They all fit in a lot nicer now. We can actually move the Twitter logo to the left a bit more and that can go to the left as well like so and then of course instagram can also go to the left so there we go fantastic and then let's just move that to the right a bit more so we have the social media accounts just in the center here and then of course we need the web address there we go so fantastic we have our first poster design we have the arrows at the top without having to even change that i think we can keep that in which is fantastic and of course we have the graph type design in the background. Now that shows that it is like graph paper or an Excel spreadsheet and it shows that the arrows are going up. So it also shows growth, so that is fantastic. And then of course we have Black Brick Presents, so it is Black Brick is in the company and that is presenting the event. And then the name of the event, the social media conference, the date and year of the event, the location and time for the event, the social media profiles for the company that is holding the event and finally the web address so we have all of the information on the poster that we need okay now we can add some more information as to what will be at the event but i think this is enough okay so let's just make this text a little bit bigger here so you can actually see who is presenting there we go fantastic and yes yeah, so that is that that is absolutely awesome now we will be designing another one so we have here learn something new today now this is perfect for me because of course I am an instructor. So that is fantastic. I love this poster as it is already. We're just gonna try and improve it a bit and make sure that it's free. At the moment it's paid because of this light bulb that is a paid image. So we're going to delete that and then just go to elements, icons and look for the light bulb. Here we go. And pop this in just here, make it a bit smaller first of all and put this in just here like so. And then we're gonna make this white Fantastic, there we go. So, learn something new today. Now, I actually wanna change this. I'm going to move today down and get rid of the word new and put amazing. Learn something amazing today. Now that is better. Learn something amazing today. I love that. Now this has been improved. We have the new light bulb, so the design is free. We have the improved text, of course. So you're not learning something new, you're learning something amazing. Now, if you're learning something amazing, it's probably gonna be something new anyway. So just remember that. There we go. So that is absolutely fantastic. Now you could also do a little bit of promotion on this just by 
duplicating this and typing in your web address, of course. So we'll just type that in now. Now we need the text to be white and we also need a nice thin font just to hide it in there somewhere. Let's just go for this one. And then it will need to be a lot smaller as well, about 16, perfect. And it can either go at the very bottom or the very top. And there we go. So we have the free promotion. We have learned something amazing today and we have the light bulb because of course when your brain flicks it turns on the light bulb inside your brain so that is fantastic now we can click on this background like so and change the color to anything we wish it's like this that is fantastic now i'm going to change it to a nice blue and then change this text here to a nice green there we go fantastic as i think the blue and green theme is a lot nicer than the red and yellow so there we go we have our second poster design so now let's design one last poster for this video just to help you with your design skills so let's just look for one more here we go this one lets you personalize it quite a lot you get to put in your own image you get to add your own title subtitle and of course all of your own text so that is a very nice one okay so for the third and final poster design i am not going to show you how to create it i'm just going to show you what i've made and for a project for you you have to make something similar to this and you have to be happy with it okay so this is your project create a design just like this for your third and final poster design and then you'll be able to create more and more amazing posters. So yeah, that's that. Have a great time designing your final poster, and I hope you do very well. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. Let's just rename this to poster design, and hit done or hit enter, like so. And then it's going to save this on its own. If you look at the top left just here, where it says unsaved changes any second now, that will automatically save but yeah that is saved we have done three poster designs in no time at all it's fantastic i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned a lot and i hope you had fun too so yeah that is all for this lecture once again hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one very soon thanks for watching and goodbye